Good morning girls, it's Tuesday. Um, this is the second time I've recorded this because I thought it was recording and it wasn't. So I guess do it again. Yay! Uh, <laughs> that was Glenn and he's laughing at me. <laughs> um, so this week's theme is to introduce our Harry Potter books. And I'm going to make an extra long video to include some of the footage I got last week, which couldn't I couldn't put in because I ran out of time and everything failed and my computer crashed and it was horrible. Um, and I did a little bit of extra filming today while we were going grocery shopping, so a little bit more showing of the upper hut, which isn't that exciting, but oh well. So, books! Um, so I had them all tidy and in order, but um, yeah, now they're not, so I'll put them in order for you. Okie dokie. So there are all of my Harry Potter books, as you can see them there, in order. Um, now I've got the Bloomsbury editions, which was the edition that was released in, I'm just trying to think where, uh, England, Australia, New Zealand and probably a few other places. Um, and Bloomsbury was the uh, publishing house that originally published Jack, Joe, so I kind of love having the Bloomsbury edition. I know you guys have, I think, the Scholastic edition. Um, that's the publishing company that does it in America, so yeah. And a lot of other places I've noticed, so... Um, start off, we'll start off with my first book, which was, um, oops, Philosopher's Stone, not Sorcerer's Stone, but Philosopher's Stone, um, and it's probably one of my most ruined ones, but that's because I love it so much, um, it's just sort of getting pulled up at all the corners, and it's got a whole bunch of water damage, because I took it on Scout, um, Scout Jamboree with me just before I moved to New Zealand, and... I was big into purple ink for ages, and it's spilt in my books. I've got purple ink through some of my pages. I think there's some black ink in there somewhere else as well. Um, and anyway, that's the cover. And the back cover actually has an inac. This is the original one, which has an inaccurate depiction of Dumbledore. But I kind of like this one better than the one they replaced it with. He looked kind of too old. <laughs> but I kind of always imagined Dumbledore looking much like that, but with the long white beard and the broken nose and the and the glass, um, half moon glasses. But I like that outfit. I thought that always looked really cool. Um, the next two, um, which I got in pretty close succession, are these two. Um, now, Chamber of Secrets was one of my least favourite ones of the original three or four. And I can't say why, it just was, which is strange because it's some people's favourite one. So obviously there was something about it that was appealing to some and not the others. Um, I've had to sellotape this one up together because it's the covers, let's see, covers pulling off. And I think some of the laminate is pulling off as well there. Um, and it's also got bits in corners. <laughs> So it's actually probably the most damaged of, the, of all of my books, even though it's probably my least favourite. Um, and then there is my original favourite. Of the first three, this was my very favourite one. And um, surprisingly, it's in quite good condition, considering how many times I read it. It's probably the most read of all my books. Um, and then we have um, Goblet of Fire, which is pretty damaged around the corners, because I used to take it to school every day for about a year. Um, I like dust covers, so all of my books still have the original dust covers on them, and I never, I've never actually taken them off. So, I think the insides look exactly like the outsides. So, yeah, let's see. Cool. Um, and then the last three are actually in pretty good condition. I've read them the least. Um, this one's a little run down on the corners, but the other two are in pretty good condition. And that's all my Harry Potter books, and I love them. I love them a lot. Um... Just got a phone call, so I had to stop. But, um, so, back to everything else. Um, now, I have a list, so I know what's going on. Um, oh, Nina, you should definitely film, um, the central town and show us, because it'll be really cool, and you seem reasonably excited. And you should just make a slightly longer video and put it at the end, because it'll be cool to see. <laughs> um, now, I got two questions this week. Yee! That's, that's breaking the theme of no questions. Uh, first question is from Nina. Uh, Hank or John? Uh, that's hard. I'd probably have to say Hank, but only just. I think they're both brilliant. Um, I love John's writing and reading style. Whenever I read, even books that aren't his, I hear his voice and his the, the way he 
reads it and that's how I read other books is really bizarre um, but Hank's a lot of fun uh, so I think Hank but only just um, and then the other question was from Isabel which is the place I'd like most like to visit uh, my number one option would be Japan I've been there once before for a stopover which was a day and a half and I definitely go back for longer um, a couple of weeks a month two months definitely because um, I love to go around and visit all sorts of different places. We, we were in Kyoto, which is a bit more traditional, and that was really fun. And I love to go to Tokyo once everything's cleared up and see a bit of that. Um, and my second choice would be America and seeing some going. Yay! Fulfilling dream! I've been once before, but it's always a fun place to visit, I found. Um, now I'm going to steal Delaney's question. Um, an invisibility cloak. I don't care about power or anything like that. I want to be invisible. I think that'll be awesome. Um, and I have to agree with Nina and Delaney. I have been enjoying this project so much. Um, it's, yeah, it's fun to have something to look forward to every day and every week. And I wouldn't, I get distracted easily and I probably wouldn't do videos if I didn't feel like I had to and you guys sort of push me to do that which is great so I'm having a lot of fun and it means I've got all these awesome friends to meet when I get to Leaky and yeah I hope we stay friends afterwards because you guys are great <laughs> um, now after this I'm going to put a whole bunch of videos of what I filmed and I hope you like video go now Just behind me there is the Upper Hutt Library and it's great. I work, I actually work there in my last year of high school and it was really fun. It's probably my favourite place I've ever worked. Um, and I'll show you around a bit inside but I probably won't talk because, not because it's a quiet library but because it's kind of embarrassing because there's lots of people around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And this is the Apart City Council. about um, I thought I'd show you my guys my old high school seems it's like two three minutes walk from our house um, I'm trying to figure out the village one I'm trying to figure out if it's now lunchtime or if it's the end of lunchtime and people are going to class I don't know <laughs> all right so you can't see much but that's my whole high school here at Town College um, it turns out it was a lunchtime bell because people are just sort of meandering around so if it had been during class, I would take you guys in and show you a little bit, but um, I don't have quite the nerve to confront teenagers. They're scary. Not as anything with you guys, but um, teenagers are scary. Alright, so hopefully it gave you a bit of an insight into my where I live. Um, I can only show you so much of it because, well, it's still embarrassing walking around with a camera in public places. At the moment there's only one person on the street and it's an old lady and she doesn't seem to care. How are you doing? I'm getting video for my video. New Zealand? Well, about town, that was the thing. So, if all things were out and about, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, you should get the background on the left hand side of the road. <laughs> True. So I got a bit the other week, I thought things around town I can get a little further into town. Yeah. And you could take a take a um, Actually, are you gonna get a pie? Sorry? Are you gonna get a pie? Uh I'm not too sure. I'm feeling it. Okay, so we're on the way to the supermarket for our grocery shopping and I just got my quote breakfast, which is a steak and kumara pie. And kumara is kind of sweet potato. pretty much a sweet potato, yeah. So not the best breakfast, but yum. Okay, and before I finish, we have to do our dice roll. So my question this week is: um, 
either currently or when you were younger, did you have a favourite type of culture? Like, some people were into Egyptian culture and history and all that sort of thing when they were younger. Um, I really like European folklore. I think it's wonderful. But is there something like that that you really enjoy? Like a certain culture or a certain time period that you find really intriguing? And roll the dice. And a six. So that is Isabel. So that's your question, Isabel. Um, I'll see you guys next week. And I look forward to seeing everybody's videos and everybody's copies of Harry Potter. Because I think it's awesome to see how people... They're like a member of the family, so it's kind of fun to be introduced to them.